But he's my it's dork. Like so loose. Huh? I said my dog's a dork, but he's my dork. He's after you. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we're actually going to do some stuff with Forescan. So before anybody asks or comments, Jill is actually feeling well. She was positive for COVID uh, as of Sunday. We got a test on Sunday. She popped positive for COVID and we have isolated and kept healthy. Uh, try to give her as much as possible. We're going for a second test here uh, this Sunday to see if I got it or if she's good. So keep your fingers crossed. We're both healthy right now. I don't feel bad. She's just congested right now. So please forgive the fact that she kind of sounds stuffy. Obviously yeah, that's the I reason why. I just sound like I have a head cold and that's exactly how it feels <clears throat> right now. Yeah. So what we're gonna do today is actually go through some of the four scan steps. Um, if those who don't know, Forescan is the ability or the software to be able to access the Ford computer and modify it. Now, if you're scared of doing stuff like this, there are tons and tons and tons of information on Forescan. There's forums for Forescan. There's a lot of really talented people out there. Whoever figured out what we're gonna do today for the first time, you are an absolute genius. We love I you. Absolutely love you. I wish I could shake your hand as well as everybody else probably will wanna shake your hand for this. We are going through the steps of adding a goat mode onto our big bend. Now, today, as of nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, was the first time we've been in the four scan. We've already changed and modified a few things. It's really simple. The only problem I found is finding a, a uh, video that actually had good, showing exactly where to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through step by step, show you the screen and what you're gonna pick and why you pick it. And we're gonna show you the process of adding a goat mode onto your Bronco. I mean, no, right? most of the trim levels, like your, what is it, your Outer Banks, your Badlands, your Wild Tracks, and even your first editions, they all have seven. That's all Ford's going to give you. Yeah. But there's eight. Yeah. There's a total eight goat modes. And down below, we're going to put a list of what trim level comes with what goat modes and what goat modes are, what those goat modes are for. Now, this right here will give you the ability to access all eight goat modes for it, which means you can buy this vehicle or a base model and get all eight goat modes. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I don't know why Ford chose to pick the goat modes they did instead of just giving you all eight. But you can access all eight goat modes with this. We'll go through again, step by step, clear, concise information of what you need to pick and why you need to pick it and what to expect later. Um, again, this is the first time we've actually gone through it and it was pretty simple. It took us longer to cut and paste all the pictures we'll show you during the process than it is to actually change the goat mode. Yeah, I did all that. She did all that. It, it took forever. It took probably about a Not probably hard. about an hour to get all the steps cut and pasted while we were doing it to show you guys exactly what you need to do. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please, uh, you know, if you haven't, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll jump inside, set up the cameras and all that good stuff. But before we do that, I do want to say two people will be needed for this. It is really easy with two people. It is a pain in the butt when you have one person doing it because there's going to be a lot of moving the switches back and forth and turning on and off the car. Unless yeah. you can do it on your own, more power to you. But I recommend having a second set of hands just to make sure that you don't have that many mistakes, if any. It's cumbersome with it is. with the laptop sitting on the center or having the laptop sitting on your lap it's not very it's not very easy 
Yeah, it's not Especially. very friendly for having one person. I've seen people doing it, and that's why it's very, very hard to see what they're doing during yeah. the process. And there's really no place in a Bronco to set a laptop when you do it by yourself. This like isn't you a Ford F-150 where it has that little thing where you can flop over, and I wish that has, that would be the one thing I wish this had Or please set a scepter with a laptop thing. Yeah. So I just want to put that out there. And also revert back to our disclaimer at the very beginning of the video. Yeah. We are not going to be held liable for anything no, that y'all do. Please, if you guys okay. hit the wrong button, step by step, follow this stuff. There is tons of information. Take. Verify with them guys, but we're showing you what we did to change the goat mode for this. We're not responsible for anything going wrong. Nope. But I do want to stress, take your time. Take time on every single step. Read every single window that pops up because there's going to be quite a few that pop up and just just take your time that's all i'm going to say because the more time that you take the less likely you're going to do some serious errors that you may not be able to revert back to and do a restore point so let's get on with it yeah and before we do that i will stress as a point comes up where you really need to pay attention and really need to do something especially when you save data i will put in there do not screw this one up because this right here is your safe point for where if you do screw up you can revert back to that one because it gives you an ability and i'll i'll go into that when we get to that window so yeah so. you have to treat what we're doing just like you would your home computer because this is technically a computer on wheels. So you do want to have multiple restore points. So if you do happen to screw up, screwing up is okay, but if you don't have a restore point, a backup, it's going to suck. So just make sure that you have your restore point set and saved before you move forward to something else and then save another restore point. Yeah. So just think of it as a computer. Okay, we'll set up the cameras and we'll show you exactly what we're doing. Okay. Okay, so first, while Jill's getting the computer up, we have to plug in this right here. Now, this is a connector for Forescan. It actually plugs into a plug that is right under there. So it's just a little bit right of the uh, hood release. Make sure it's in there. Push it all the way in. And then this connects to the computer itself. We don't know if you can see the computer, but we'll put everything up on the screen as we go through it. So if you haven't downloaded Forescan, go ahead and download Forescan. Uh, they have a free two month trial. We ended up purchasing it for three years, licensed for three years. It's for 20 bucks. I have multiple vehicles. We're going to change a lot of stuff over yeah. time. Plus, if other people need to do whatever later on, I have it already up. We know how to do it. We can give them a hand if they want it, if they're close or whatever. In the initial time that you open this up, it'll give you a warning stating that you don't want to drive the vehicle while you're operating this for obvious reasons. Uh, you'll see a lot of people try to drive it cords across the way if you're the one actually doing the computer and driving that's a very dangerous place uh, dangerous thing we don't want people to you know get into an accident hurt themselves or god forbid you know hurt or worse somebody else yeah you know we want you to be careful do not do this while you're driving so just park and do this please yeah. all right so the bottom left corner you're going to go ahead and click on the icon for just that way to connect to the vehicle. And this is gonna be your last save point. You don't want to modify any of those because these are your restore points. Now, like she was saying, these are restore points. If anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to this and load one of the restore points. This is a very important step, very important step. You're not gonna go yes, because right now your last restore point that you know of so far has been good is if you have a an issue. A issue you can restore it to a previous point that you know is good and you don't have a problem 
So right now we're gonna pick no because we're not gonna actually revert to a restore point from prior. Now, does this vehicle may contain MSCAN modules and does your ELM adapter have HSMS CAN switch? So one of the videos, one guy and made it really easy to remember how the switch works on the thing is HS is her side or whoever, you know, the passenger side, her side, or my side as being the driver's side yeah, so because that's where it's located. For, for him, it was my side is MS, her side is HS. HS. So when you look at the switch, I'll show you down here, you have MS and you have HS. Her side is this side, MS, my side is this side. So that right there, this one does have a switch, so we'll press yes. yes. Now please set HS, MS, CAN switch to MS, CAN, bus position and click OK. So he's gonna switch to MS. There, now it's going to do okay. this a number of times. Yeah. We're not going to go through every single step. Just read what's in there. It'll All switch right. back and forth. Flip it to HS. Would you like to say profile for this vehicle? You may say, or you may change the profile name. Yes. To say yes to this that way you save the profile before you go in there so yeah. this right here will save the last point so just treat this part as a restore point yeah because everything right now you have not messed with anything and it's safe so this is your restore point you want to hit yes this is a very important step to save this spot because if you go on and you make a mistake you can always revert to this point which will be the last point that you bring up at the very beginning like i stated um, and you can revert back to that spot so i don't think no, i was thinking okay so what you'll do is you'll go to this it looks like a computer chip I'll bring it up on the thing, configuration and programming. And you go to the ABS module. Again, we'll put it up on the screen and you press the play button at the very bottom. Uh, HS. Yeah, always make sure that switch is flipped before you hit okay. Now this is gonna give you a warning stating if you don't know what you're doing don't do it yeah we so. know what we're doing because we've watched tons of videos about it and read on about it and been on forums this is the second time we've actually done it but it's really easy uh there is fail safe for when you actually mess up so if you don't feel comfortable don't do it if you want to try it out again there is fail safe to actually revert back to the the time before the original one even so I'll go ahead and press OK. Now what you're seeing right now goat mode. is the goat mode codes. Now I'll flash up there. We did a thing up here for this screen right here, right? Okay, so we did a we're gonna put up there right here of what you're looking at. And the thing is the goat modes are changed according to the number sequence in the actual Four, uh, I think it's three sets of four digits. So we will go through that. We have a sheet here. I will link a sheet or you know put where I found it. And you're looking for. So we already did Baja. We're gonna add Rock Crawl. So if you look at the code that you're looking for under this side, so the side on the far side, the first set of numbers, it's a three-digit dash two digit dash two digit it is seven six zero dash zero four dash zero three and if you look at it there is only one with that number so it's down here that can be in this last section it's the last section and it's the third one down from the top of that section line and it's i'll explain something real quick all the goat modes 
are under that one section. Not all, but let me put it this way. Uh, you'll have Baja, Rock Crawl, Mud, and Sport all under that one window. Depending on where the number is that you change in the sequence of the three sets of four digits will change whether that code or mode is on or off. So for Rock Crawl, it's the third set of numbers it's the very last digit so whatever the numbers are before it doesn't matter what you're looking for is the very last digit right now what does it read it's reading on um, all the way across zero one zero 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 two zero one okay so zero two zero one is what we're looking for one means it's off if you change that number to three then you hit your backspace, hit, hit three. three. You do not do anything to the highlighted area over here. You leave that alone. Yeah, you leave all the numbers alone. Now you go down to write all. Yep. Now you want to hit yes. Yes, and this is another warning saying... It says it may be a typo if you enter as built data from a reliable source. It may be okay if you change the configuration just just hit yes because you're going to continue module configuration blah 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 yes so it gives you enough warning to question yourself if you want to do this now the noises that you hear that's totally normal um it's going to ask you to cycle off the car so turn it off you wait until your car is totally off Reboot it back on. Do not hit OK until the car is back on. All right, so the car is back on, so you hit OK. So like I said, you have to think of it as like a really giant computer. You've got to reset its brain. So, do you want to try your, your modes? Now, as we stated before, this one only comes with six modes. It doesn't come with eight. all seven or uh, all eight. Sorry, yeah. it only comes with six modes. We don't have Baja and we don't have Rock, but it has everything else. So we'll go through all the modes here real quick. Okay. 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 So normal. Eco, Sport, Slippery, rud and mu uh, Mud and Ruts, Sand, Baja, and Rock Crawl. She's happy with that. What we want to show you is how to access the data and how to actually change it. We're new at it. So this is the first, second time today, first day we've actually accessed this stuff. It's really simple. I cannot stress to you enough. There is so much information out there about what needs to be done and what to do. There are absolute geniuses out there. If people that are new like us, that are to this. this, that can do it that easy, it's really simple. We were nervous at the very beginning about doing this because we're like, oh, but we've heard so many people comment, oh, it's really easy, it's really simple. You know, there's there's a, a lot of a lot of uh, fail safes in it, like the downloads or the you know the save files that you can go and access stuff later, just like a computer save file. Yeah. If you download something on your computer and screwed up, you can back. Uh, backlog it or, or upload what you had saved before to it and get rid of all that stuff, uh, fix all the mistakes. This is really simple. Be careful doing it. Make sure you follow the steps that it says in the computer and as it tells you. Save. And take your time. Yeah, save the information. So right now, my, uh, our Big Bend has all eight goat modes the vehicle from the factory doesn't come with all eight goat modes okay with none six. of them do none yeah, of them none do. Of it them doesn't do. matter so, so so most they come with from factory including the first edition is seven yeah 
So they're all missing a goat mode of one or another. Yep. Um, why they think it's a good idea to only have, especially a first edition, only have seven goat modes, I don't know. Maybe it's just a, they want to be able to show people different vehicles or for different things, but this is a good way of doing it. This is a good way of fixing it. There are a lot of other things we plan on doing with this to modify our vehicles, all three of them, and we'll show you all the steps and we'll try to make it as foolproof as possible like we do this one. Hopefully this video, you like it. It really helps you out, especially the way we're gonna put it together. I want the videos like these that we do, especially when we're messing with this stuff, to be really foolproof on how you wanna, you know, how you wanna access it and what steps you gotta take. Cause there's a lot of videos I've seen out there really good that I could not tell where their cursor was because the reflection or glare and they click on something and I have to go to multiple other videos to find out where that went. Yeah. So this right here hopefully is a one-stop shop of how to go into the GOAT modes and fix them. There are plenty of other things you can do with Forescan. We've already turned off a few things. We're yeah, actually like gonna go through. Hump. We yeah, the double honk and the lights for the fog lights. We'll do that on a different video as well as change the tires, which we're going to do this weekend or tomorrow. Um, again, you know, this is really simple. I was nervous at the beginning. Now, it's simple. It took us longer to cut and paste. Oh, it took, with all the nuts. I have no idea. It took a while because I had to go through every single step, screenshot it, save the files, move on to the next part, and screen shoot it again. So yeah, everything, it, it was a very long, tedious process, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end for it'll, you guys. It'll take you longer to watch this video than it does to actually yeah. update it. But without a video showing you, you're not going to want to do it. So, yeah. again, you know, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope you guys like this. If Hope you, this guys is uh, this stuff is helpful. If you do like it, please make a comment of what you'd like to know, what to do with Forescan, and yeah. we'll build a thing just for Forescan. Uh, what you need to do and how you need to do it per step like we do with this video yeah like any questions on what anything means whatever we're not experts but we can at least research it for you that way you don't have to and we can find out the answer and let you know but yeah just yeah if you have any concerns questions comments drop them down below i'll put all the information down below for the Forescan forums they're absolutely wonderful there uh, the guys are very helpful there's a lot of smart guys out there who know way more in depth information on what's there. Uh, if any issues, they know exactly because they've been there a million times already. Uh, a lot of these guys do this for a living, work on this stuff for a living. Uh, they're really smart. I, I, you cannot go wrong with going to the forum for yeah. Forescan. Also, there's a uh, wealth of information there. I'll put a link to the connector we used. I will also so put it. a link for the information that we have right here that shows you what the codes are that you need, as well as what the different GOAT modes are, what the vehicle comes with per model, whether it be base all the way up to first edition. If you guys don't know what first edition has, well, you probably don't have one because there's no one left unless you're going to pay $150,000 for it. Um, but, you know, hopefully this is helpful. And see you next video. Bye. Bye.